Yeah, brilliant question. And apologies, Nicola, I'm so sorry to, to hear this. Look, you know, th this is going to, and I need to be careful how I word this because whenever we speak about this live on YouTube, it seems to cause harm to, to our channels. So I'm just going to call it the C word. Um, look, C is fueled by glucose. It's fueled by sugar. All carbohydrates break down into sugar. So any carbohydrate that someone who suffers with cancer um, is going to fuel that cancer. Essentially, cancer cells are metabolically inflexible. They, they can be fueled by fermentable fuels. Um, glucose being number one, it can further downstream use glutamate in order to, to fuel that. But glucose is, is the one that predominates within the diet. Uh, and this is the biggest lever to pull. So glucose, which is carbohydrate or sugar, we need to reduce, if not completely remove this. So when we remove carbohydrate or sugar, then the body will transition into a ketogenic state. C cells, I almost said the word that I don't want to say, the C cells <laughs> are metabolically inflexible, which basically means that ketones do not fuel them. Therefore, somebody in a ketogenic state does not fuel C cells, to the degree that somebody who is consuming lots of carbohydrate, 